So I'm now joined by the Royal Crown Prince of Tonga, Manu Fanu. Manu, you must be so excited at seeing the young ladies running around for Glenorchy, representing that club, but representing your homeland. It's uh, words cannot uh, explain enough how proud and how happy we are as Tongans uh, to seeing the best version of AFL Tonga playing in AFL Tasmania. <laughs> Four girls running around there and we've got other boys there they will be playing tomorrow. Absolutely a great privilege for me to be a part of. Uh, yes. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much to be there. Uh, Bawik for great help he done to our people back home. Like I acknowledge to the people in Tonga, we went there for water. Yes. To help with the water, and we ended up uh, <laughs> <laughs> coaching the AFL Tonga. <laughs> so ball back towards. Oh, oh cook it back. That's nah. the Tongan way. That's the hard, straight through, <laughs> Duff. That's Lalani fine. I know we're here and we're at the footy and it's lovely to be talking about the spirit between Tasmania and Tonga and bringing the girls and, of course, the young boys who are also playing as well. What can you tell me how important the work that uh, Peter is doing in the Tongan community? Oh, I mean, we did talk about uh, the help is in the government. You know, government like Australia AIDS, uh, you know, Japan. This is just Peter, this is just on a personal level. Yes. Yeah, it's just not, not many in the world, and I said that to Peter. Not anywhere, not anybody in the whole world that being able to do what he does. Uh, yes. Yeah, on the generous of his heart. Yeah, to give and help out uh, our people is just absolutely enormous effort. Uh, yeah, we couldn't, like this is the way, a little small way, we paying a bit out to get some of the kids to come and play for his clubs. Uh. much on that level. It's fantastic. We know that when we sometimes put the news on at the night time, there's a lot of people that are hurting around the world, whether it be wars or, or suffering through famine or things that are going on. And when you see the good work that someone like Peter, through the goodness of his heart and humanity, it gives you great faith, doesn't it? To think that we are all one peoples and helping each other. It's so lovely to see that happen. It's in a global level. Yes absolutely dream the ultimate objective that we're seeing that but this just mania at Tonga Peter Bowie <laughs> and, yes. the, and the community very much so so for Peter and Water Industry Solutions what he's doing there I know the great work he gets over there gets the shorts on and gets the the coaching hat on and I know I've seen photos that when you went over I'm looking forward to that documentary of uh, talking to the children and, and, and inspiring them like you do and you have done for many many years uh, how long has it been now Manu since you've uh, been in Tasmania I'm going to stretch the memory now, aren't I? Well, so <laughs> I've been now here 40 years. 40 years. And uh, you know from the experience, <laughs> Hobbit, uh <laughs> what we've done with Totai. Ah, uh, yes, the great. Siu Havea, <laughs> Lani, <laughs> all their boys, they always stayed here. Immigration <laughs> want to send them back home. <laughs> we, <laughs> yes, um, yeah, yeah. That's we can do something to help somebody yes everybody yeah it's uh it manifests that there's only one principle and that is to to other people what you like to do to you oh i think that's right my dear old mum who i sadly uh, lost when i was only a boy at 25 and she used to say to me all the time do unto others 
as you would have them do unto you and, it, and that's exactly how we go. I know that's how you operate Manu. You, every time I see you you've got a big smile, a big hug and uh, I genuinely say to you thank you so much for your hard work that you do in the community. Uh, the Hobart community, the Tonga community, it's just the, the world community because I know the, all the great work that you do. It's great to see these young people here in Hobart. We hope that they very much enjoy their stay. If they're like Tutai or like your very good self, you make this your second home. We know your heart is yep. very much there in Tonga, but you're a very proud Tasmanian and Tongan and uh, we thank you very much for all the work you've done and we look forward to seeing how the girls go in the second half. Do you think that uh, the way they're going and, and the great uh, Barwicks in there talking, they've got a pair of Barwicks talking to the girls, do you think they might just sort of sneak out and if they can't win at least just get that much needed goal to give them a lift? The scoreboard says so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it manifests on the second quarter. Yes. Territory. Yes. We just failed to convert the last couple That's it. Point. They were down there, weren't they? It was, they were knocking on the door. Yeah, yeah, you work hard to get to that green zones to convert. We just failed a little bit. <laughs> but I think we will be the girls will uh, pick up on the second half because it's all about connecting and empowering one another and yes. they certainly did it. Yeah on the last quarter. They did. Well, we hope though, we love thanking you very much indeed for having a, a chat with us. We'll have a little break now and we look forward to the second half and seeing how your mighty magpies go against the might of the Bombers here at Skybus Oval. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs>